Sandra Deal, Senator Johnny Isaacson, members of the Congress that are present here today, uh, Congressman Sanford Bishop, Congressman David Scott, and Congresswoman Karen Handel, Lieutenant Governor Cagle, Speaker Ralston, thanks for your kind comments, to Bernice King and Christine King Ferris and the King family. I'd like to ask all the members of the Capital Arts Standards Commission if you would stand, please. And, and I'd like for you all to get recognized them at this time. So thank you all for being here. <laughs> Senator Isaacson, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Mayor Reed, for your kind comments. Today is a shining and joyous and historic day in the history of the state of Georgia. Right. With the unveiling of, on the Capitol grounds, a statue memorializing Dr. Martin Luther King on the 54th anniversary of his famous I Have a Dream Amen. speech Amen. on August 28, 1963. Right. As a Georgian and native son, Dr. King inspired our nation and the world with his message and vision. He was such an inspirational leader. I want to thank all of those leaders that are here today, members of the judiciary, members of the Constitutional Court, constitutional officers, and all the elected officials that are present here today. Three years ago, on February the 24th, former Representative Joe Wilkinson and I were called to Speaker David Ralston's office to discuss legislation that would authorize a Capitol Brown statue of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. As a lead sponsor of 1080, it was introduced on the same day with bipartisan co-sponsors in the Georgia General Assembly. Governor Deal had already been on record by stating his support at Ebenezer Baptist Church that he was for a statue of Dr. King. And after meeting with Speaker Ralston, I immediately went to visit with Lieutenant Governor Cagle and Senate leadership and Senator Dave, Senator Gail 